Welcome to another testing out new makeup video. I'm excited. I'm testing out some new drugstore makeup. Everything's drugstore except for the spray that I put on my face. And yeah, I'm going to let you watch the video and decide your thoughts of what you think about it. But uh, if you're new, hi, welcome, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified of all my future videos. I upload every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday, a new beauty video. Also head over to my Instagram and go follow me over there. If you want to see what I do for my anniversary, I'm surprising my husband and he has no idea. I'm going to his work. I'm invading his space and it's just gonna be lots of fun. So if you want to see that and you want to see what's going on with that, go follow me over on Instagram. It's going to be really fun. But, uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and let's get started. All right, so I don't usually like to share with you guys what I look like with my brows not done, but since we're trying out a bunch of new products, I'm super excited. So these are all drugstore products. Okay, so Winky Lux has a brow pencil called the Unibrow. I love their products and I love Winky Lux skincare. Uh, I've reviewed their whole skincare line. I'll link that up in an iCard. Pencil on the other, it's a triangle, but it's super small. So. I'm going to start, I'm going to start by doing my brows with this little universal pencil and we'll see what happens. It's a little bit, oh, there we go. It was a little bit hard when I first started, but it's starting to, this actually looks like it might just match me really well. Like what my hairs actually look like. It looks actually pretty good. Ooh, I like it. Winky Lux is one of those products, one of those biz, like one of those uh, brands that I don't hear a lot about, but I do get asked a lot. You guys ask me a lot about it because you can find it at Ulta and you guys are just, you're just curious. So that's kind of what started my journey to like testing their products out is because I kept getting asked about their powder, their diamond powder. I like it and I love the packaging. It's, it's really cute. Okay, and there is also a unibrow brow gel and I have, it's universal brow gel. So it's clear like this. And the cool thing about this is that the brush is just like, it's odd. It's not a mascara wand. It's an actual little brush and it's like super flexible. So let's test this out. Oh, it's small though. So I can actually, it's an actual comb. Like I can actually, it's like a little tiny hair comb, hair brush. Oh my gosh. I actually really like this. It's easy to comb my crazy hairs. Oh, and then I can like slick it with that other side. Wow, I'm really digging this. This is a really cool, innovative product. Cool brush. Okay, uh, let's move on to eyes. So I have a Winky Lux eyeshadow palette. I have never tried out an eyeshadow palette from them. Oh, the packaging, they have like little cats. So freaking cute. Okay, this is called the Coffee Kitten Palette. So they have a mirror, which is nice, but they have all these wonderful everyday colors that we can try out and can see. I'm gonna get into cappuccino, which is right here. It's a matte shade. I'm gonna put that all over so you guys can kind of see how it works here. Ooh, super smooth. That's how you know if they can do mattes good. There's some interesting colors here. Okay, I'm going to go into Americano right here. Uh, my anniversary is tomorrow and I have planned, like I told my husband, hey, let's not do anything until the weekend since you know you work, blah, blah, blah. Tomorrow's Tuesday for me. And I have planned to go to his work. Like I had his secretary schedule him an appointment at that time. It's going to be me. I'm going to go pick him up and we're just going to like do stuff all day. And it's, I'm so excited. So 
You guys, follow me over on Instagram if you wanna know what's going on. Instagram stories, I'm gonna be posting pictures. I'm gonna, like, we're doing like a surprise picnic and then we're gonna go to like this gondola ride in like Providence in the river. And it's just gonna be so fun. So you wanna be following me on Instagram if you're nosy like me and you wanna see what's going on. I'll be doing reels, I'll be doing Instagram posts, stories. Anyways, so I'm gonna get into this color, uh, much macchiato right here because it actually has it's like a brown but it has like sh like yellow f really flying flecks in it kind of like yeah it looks like like yellow gold flecks in it which will match like my yellow suit i have like a matching like sweatsuit right now that's so cute um so i'm gonna put that on with a brush and then oh this is actually i don't think i'm gonna need to spray it because it looks very pigmented. Okay, so I'm gonna, wait a minute. Oops, I put it on the wrong side of my brush. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna lightly put that all over the lid. Okay, this is not my favorite brush to use for stuff like That's better, that looks nice. There we go, that's better. Okay, I think I'm gonna get into this one light and sweet and put it right in the center. So I'm just gonna put affogato right under the lashes or under the, why do I say lashes? Under the brow. Okay, so Winky Lux also has a liquid liner. So let's put this on and see how that goes. Whoa. Whoa, look how wet that is. I thought I was gonna have to work. But this is nice. This just got so fancy that I'm gonna have to put some lashes on. <laughs> this got, I was planning on just doing mascara, but. Alter Ego Amore lashes, they are my favorites. I use these all the time and uh, I'm gonna use them today. I do have a coupon code for that and they are affordable. They're like a drugstore brand that just isn't at the drugstore yet, which they're crazy because they should totally have them there. So now that my lashes are on, let's move on to the face. And the smoky eye actually looks really, really nice and like simple and beautiful. I actually really like it. Okay, so let's go on to the, but I have the new Milani Skin Quenched hydrating primer i saw this at cvs and i had to pick it up because i was just really curious this is the it has hyaluronic acid and coconut water it's a new and improved formula 50 percent more product as well so they've reformulated their old skin quenched hydrating primer we're gonna try it yeah it's like a moisturizer for something that has like it's supposed to have like hyaluronic acid and water this feels a little thicker and it's a little bit tacky which is good mm. oh i kind of like this okay and i also saw the M milani glow hydrating skin tint we're gonna try this out i know i have more like a smoky eye kind of thing so hopefully this has some coverage although it does say it's a skin tint so we're just gonna have to see that it's an ultra luminous skin tint sheer to light coverage melt into skin for a naturally dewy glow uh locks moisture in and prevents hydration lost it's glow enhancing has vitamin c and e so i have the shade here light to medium to 10. so we're gonna see what happens here we're gonna see what happens and if i have to go with some concealer i don't mind going in with some concealer Ooh, it is pretty though it does have a glow I'll try this brush Yeah, definitely light to medium coverage. 
which it did say, not light to medium, it's definitely light coverage. It is like a very sheer tint. Nice, and it does look very, very, very skin-like, so I'm super excited about that. Uh, I also have a concealer, the Carter Beauty Covert Concealer, and it's in a dropper form. I've never tried a concealer quite like this before. A little bit of peachiness to it. I don't know how to put this concealer on. I don't know what to do. Okay, we're gonna see what happens. Interesting, it's not thick at all. Ooh, wow. Ooh, I'm kind of liking that. It doesn't have like a ton of coverage, but man, does it blend into the skin. So my under eyes are so dry and I have like creases and like lines. Wow, and this is making me look very youthful, I feel like. Definitely you need to set my face because my face is very tacky that I can tell this would transfer all over the place if I didn't set it. So. I did pick up a new bronzer. This is the Physicians Formula Butter, butter Bronzer in Brazilian Glow. So this is a glowy one. I've never tried a butter bronzer that was glowy like this. Um, I only tried, the one I had was like in dark and I use it to contour because it does look very beautiful and very glowy. So I got a contour first. So since this is here, I'll grab my Minoe Physicians Formula Bronzer and I'll contour with this because this one is matte. Oh my gosh, I'm hitting pan. I'm hitting pan with this bronzer. I'm gonna contour with that baby. Bronze. Ooh, this looks so pretty. Ooh, I'm excited. Hmm. This may have a little too much gold in it. Like the gold is too strong. Yeah. Yep. 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 I look like I have highlighter on my face. I literally look like I put gold blush on my cheeks. Gosh dang it, this is what I'm talking about. Physician's formula, like what's your issue, man? Like this is, this is too much. Even this Catrice one that's way more inexpensive just looks better than this. It's too gold, like it's too, like it looks beautiful in the pan, but there's not enough of the regular Maybe I need to put some more Manoe bronzer on top. Like it's too much gold. Maybe I put too much on, I don't know, but I look dirty now. I think I'm just gonna go in with this um, e.l.f. <sighs> just frustrating. Maybe I put too much of that on, which I'm sure someone will tell me, you put too much on. But I didn't know it was gonna be a highlighter. But that skin tint really does look nice. I feel like my skin looks a lot younger from that skin tint. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna spray my face because the Maven Beauty Rose Water Setting Spray, I'm gonna use this one and see. What happens here? I think I'm gonna put a little bit of this double shot here on the lower lashes. Okay, I have a the Creme Shop Lip Lock. The Creme Shop Lick Lip Lock. Lick Lock. Lip Lock, the Cram Shop. I found this at CVS, it's a new brand, they had a new display, and I didn't know what to pick from them, so this is what I picked, a lip liner. This one is in Desert Retreat. Oh, what? It. Ooh, it's creamy. This packaging, like I can't open it. 
this is terrible. I can't even twist the bottom. So it shows where I'm supposed to twist, but I can't even twist and I kind of bit it to try to twist it and it's just taking off all the silver on it. And I'm a strong person. I'm a very strong person. Okay, I'm gonna try to sharpen this baby. Yes, it's supposed to be sharpened. Are you freaking kidding me? I wish I would have showed you the packaging before. It literally had like a line here looking like this was supposed to twist. And this looks like it's metal, like it's not supposed to get sharpened. So I ruined the pencil. I'm pretty nice when I talk about brands. I feel like, like there's no need, like I'm honest, but there's no need to be like, that's this sucks. This sucks. Don't get this. It's creamy, yes, but the packaging is horrible. You saw how long it took me to just take off the lid and there was no plastic wrap on it. It came in a box like this. It is very creamy, but I'm still very unhappy. I have not put on the LA Girl lipstick. So this is a new lipstick. This is the LA Girl. It's in Nudie. And I'm gonna put this baby on. Hmm, this is a nice color. Wow, I think this lipstick saved the day. Very creamy, really beautiful nude. Oh, and it's magnetic. I actually like this, LA Girl. This is the first actual bullet lipstick I've tried from LA Girl and I actually like it. Even though my makeup still looks pretty good, I would consider this a fail. A fail. Just because I'm mad at that lipstick, that lip liner. And, and not just the lip liner, uh, also this bronzer. I, I'm mad at it. If I go out in the sun, I'm gonna look like a beast. This is how I ended up looking. Tell me what you guys think. Do you think it's a fail? Do you think it's not a fail? Let me know down below in the comments. Um, I'll go out in natural lighting and I'll show you what my makeup looks like so you guys can see and you can like judge for yourself. Uh, I'm just gonna tell you right now, um, I do love these Milani products. I think these are really nice. And even though the, the primer kind of felt a little bit weird, I actually do like it. And this glow really does look nice on my skin. This is not a dupe though. I'm going to tell you if you're wondering for the Hollywood Flawless Filter, this is these are not dupes. They're not dupes, they're very different. But I do like this and I think it's great for the summertime and it is a basically like a tinted moisturizer type of deal, very light coverage, but I do like them. Uh, also, I love this lipstick. This color is gorgeous and the formula is very, very creamy, but it is something that's gonna transfer. Um, I'm super unhappy with the lip lock. You guys already know, I don't need to speak about it anymore. I'm super unhappy with the butter bronzer. Uh, maybe I did put a lot, I don't know, but I don't like how gold it is. It was, it was too much, too highlighty-ish. Um, I did like this palette. I feel like it's something that's very beginner friendly. It's something that's not super, super overly pigmented that you're gonna hurt yourself trying to put it on. You know what I mean? Like when you put way too much on and you give yourself like a black eye, it's not gonna look like that. It's a pretty nude palette. Um, and if you're interested in trying it out, it's nice. It does kick up powder. So keep that in mind. If that bothers you, you're not gonna like the palette, but I like it. It's nice, the colors are nice. And I feel like the look that that I did just turned out really nice. Um, I also do like the eyebrow pencil and the eyebrow gel from Winky Lux. Those ones are really nice. Uh, I love the packaging and I feel like the pencil was pretty good. Ooh, but if you're wondering if the gel made my eyebrows crispy, it did not. So we're gonna see how it holds up. I'll let you guys know down below if it ended up put like, I don't think so. I don't know if it's gonna it's gonna be it's not gonna be glue for your eyebrows, but it but it is nice. I do I do like it, and the brush is very innovative. I, I like the brush. So I think that was it. The concealer. Whoa, the concealer though. If they could make this with a little bit more coverage, this 
would be bomb. The concealer did make my under eyes look super smooth. I have really like wrinkly dry under eyes and it doesn't make me look dry at all. It looks very skin-like and very smooth under there. So I'm, I'm really excited. I'm gonna keep on trying this little baby out and I'll let you guys know. But uh, I hope you really enjoyed the video. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe before you go. I love you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and I'll see you in my next video.